Howdy, folks. This is just a reminder that if you like this content, you can help me out by liking, commenting, and especially by subscribing. And be sure to hit the bell notification so you always get notified whenever I have a new video. Hope you enjoy this. Hi there. Thank you for taking my call. I have a question about the story in the Bible where Mary Magdalene washes, washes Jesus' feet with her hair. I'm wondering mm -hmm. if that was considered a weird thing to do back then. I've always thought it was a weird thing to do in general. And then I remember listening to a video on Jimmy's YouTube channel titled, Does St. Paul Want Women to Cover Their Hair? And after watching the video, I thought, like, wow, this is so crazy. And then in light of that, doesn't that make this story in the Bible, like, double weird? I was hoping Jimmy could ah, great. Thank you. upon that. Oh, okay, so there are, there are several instances uh, in the Gospels where a woman does something like this, and I would have to check because I don't recall off the top of my head whether Mary Magdalene is one of the actual women. There's a, there's a persistent conflation of Mary Magdalene and Mary of Bethany that a lot of people have, but Biblical scholars and recently the Church itself have acknowledged that Mary of Magdalene and Mary of Bethany are two different people. And then there's a third anonymous woman who also is involved in an incident that's like this, and it's debatable whether she's one of the Marys. So I would have to go and just check, because I don't remember off the top of my head if it's actually Mary Magdalene or not. Having said that, is it weird that she would do this for their culture? Yes, it is weird. That is why they mention it. If she had done a normal thing, like anoint his feet and then wipe them with a towel or something, or cry on his feet and dry him with a towel or something, they wouldn't have even mentioned it. They would have just said she dried his feet. But the fact she used her hair, that's weird enough to get mentioned. And so, yeah, this was a weird thing. Now, weird, I should say weird in the sense of atypical. That doesn't mean it's wrong or creepy or anything like that, but it does mean that it is something that is beyond the normal. This is not how people normally dried the feet of another person, um, whether they're drying them from oil or drying them from uh, from tears or whatever. So it is ab it is non-normal, but because Jesus receives it positively. Um, we shouldn't look at it as something that was wrong. It's a very moving act. It's a very personal act. One could even say from a spiritual point of view, it's an intimate act. And in light of the Hellenistic medicine, um, you know, one could that I mentioned in the women's head covering video, if that's what St. Paul believed, then it could take on additional overtones, but Jesus does not pick up on any such overtones like that. He just regards what she did as a positive thing, and he's not given us any commentary on overtones beyond that. So we should be cautious in what overtones we draw. There's a difference between what we could see could be going on and what we have evidence is going on. And here, the only evidence we have is she wiped his feet with her hair, and he received that as a pious act. So we shouldn't, you know, we shouldn't take it as meaning something more than that when he just took it as this is a, this is a pious thing she did. So I guess that's what I'd have to say about all that. All right, Jennifer. Okay. Thank you. And before we go, just one more reminder that if you like what you've watched, you can help me out by liking, commenting, and especially by subscribing. I'm trying to grow my channel, and I'd really appreciate your help. Thank you, and God bless you.